The West Philippine Sea has seen a rise in Chinese aggression, with the Philippines attempting to prevent this escalation without relinquishing its internationally recognized sovereign rights. China has focused its main intimidation tactics to the Escota Shoal, where the Philippines discovered evidence of China attempting to build an artificial island using ground-up coral. The Philippines deployed its largest coast guard ship, the BRP Teresa Magbanua, and two smaller vessels to maintain a constant presence to prevent the Chinese from resuming island building at the Escota Shoal. The Philippines Justice Department is also preparing a legal case against China, citing its actions in building the island and environmental damage caused by its destruction of coral for building materials. China being upset over getting caught at the Escota Shoal has accused the Philippines of damaging the coral of the second Thomas Shoal when they chose to ground the Sierra Madre at the Shoal in 1999 and have ignored Chinese demands to remove it. The Philippines responded by claiming that China created about 30 artificial outposts throughout the South China Sea, most of which used ground-up coral. The Philippines also needed to evacuate a service member from the Sierra Madre for medical reasons. But the Chinese Coast Guard has been relentlessly patrolling in the second Thomas Shoal and obstructed and delayed the evacuation. But the Philippines were finally able to evacuate its servicemen. The Philippines and Japan held a meeting to discuss the formation of closer security ties in the Western Pacific, which further weakened China's demand for bilateral resolution of all disputes. China, however, does not adhere to these demands, as seen in its participation in the Shanghai Cooperation Organization meeting and BRICS. Not to be intimidated, Japan and the Philippines signed a reciprocal access agreement, allowing both countries to temporarily deploy their armed forces to each other's countries. The agreement targets China and its illegal international claims. Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. ordered the military to de-escalate tensions without compromising its sovereign rights. The US has publicly supported the Philippines in its legal claims and the defense agreement with the Philippines, but has also signaled the need for a de-escalation. The Philippines continues to assert its sovereign claims in the West Philippine Sea, pursuing a legal claim for China's environmental damage. China has implemented a strategy of intimidation in the region, aiming to capitalize on de-escalation messaging from the US. The US and the Philippines should follow a policy not to concede sovereign rights and not to unilaterally give concessions to China in the region, knowing that a war with the Philippines is not a war China wants to fight.